What is up guys, Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Thanks again for stopping by. So it's 2025 right now. Crypto mining is getting harder and harder. The difficulty, the hash rate is going up and the profits are going down, which is not great. But fortunately, many years ago at this point, I decided to buy myself a solar system and inverter which is keeping me profitable 24 7 365 days a year which has been fantastic and absolute fail safe for crypto mining at home for me personally with my electric rate so today i want to help you guys make a more informed decision if you're thinking about crypto mining specifically with solar i want to show you my hardware what i'm running when i'm running it talk about the costs of a solar setup and of course look at the profitability because that's what it's all about we're not doing this to lose money hopefully some of us and uh and yeah without further ado let's get to it my solar setup consists of 20 370 watt longy panels and an 8 kilowatt inverter to make use of all of that energy the total upfront cost was $8,811, but as you can see with that rebate of $4,080, the final amount was $4,531 all the way back in November of 2021. So how did I come to the conclusion that this was actually going to be a smart investment? Well, at the time, I knew my farm was making about $6,000 in revenue and was costing about $6,000 to run, so a net zero. Knowing that the solar would cover my complete farm through sunlight for at least one third of the day, I knew I could take out a $2,000 profit from that $6,000 total, meaning in just over two and a half years, I would have had this thing paid off and then some. My next consideration was, do I get a battery? So at the time, the batteries were about ten to $15,000 to get one installed for about a 20 to 30 kilowatt capacity, depending on where you were looking. And as this was in 2021, I knew Ethereum was going to proof of stake soon and profits were about to be almost non-existent. My first thought was, let's get the solar installed let's roi in that in two and a half years and then we can think about a battery later if i was to add that battery at a sort of two thousand dollar a year profit you'd be looking at another five to seven years to pay that thing off before i'd taken any profit so at the time i thought no maybe in hindsight i probably should have done it because it would have been a great investment to have now but that's always a consideration for the future for my mining farm. Okay guys, so welcome to my mining room. So let's give you guys a bit of a walkthrough of what we've got in here. So we'll start with what we've got offline, I guess. So right down the bottom, we've got a number of 3070s. These are GPU mining rigs. As you can see, they're currently offline. It is evening time now, so no solar and uh, I won't be running these at a loss. They're just not profitable. GPU mining has uh, really taken a hit lately, so they're offline for the time being. Moving up to the top, we have three uh, Warthog rigs. These are dual CPU and GPU mining rigs. So they mine a coin called Warthog, which has been very, very profitable. If you guys have seen my videos before, you'll notice uh, they were running constantly and now they're off as well. This is more just for a heat thing. I've accumulated a bunch of Warthog at the moment, so pretty happy with where that's sitting for the time being. Moving on over to the other side of the room, we've got a number of CPU mining rigs. These are all 5900Xs and 5950Xs. These are offline also. Um, profitability hasn't been great on these. I mean, there are some profits to be had, but look, running all this gear, the amount of money I spent on it versus the reward at the moment, it's just not really worth it for me at this current stage. So they're offline along with the Warthog rigs and along with the GPU mining rigs. But more importantly, what have we got online? So this is where all the money is being made right now. We'll start you from right to left. These are uh, Alephium miners, so they're mining Alephium. This right here is a AL box. 
and these one, two, three are AL2 lights. So these three much, much more efficient and profitable than the Albox. So those are all going pretty strong, really bullish on Alephium. So we're stacking as much of that as we can right now. And over to the left, the Alphapex DG Home 1. You can see we've got two of these. The DG Home 1 right there, 2.1 giga hash each. So 4.2 giga hash worth of script mining. These are mining Doge right now and are by far the most profitable uh, arm of my home solar mining farm right now. So they're really holding it down. Like we said before, you know, we could run these uh, 3070 rigs during the day, all the Warthog rigs during the day, tons of capacity on the solar, but in all honesty, I'm just going for ease and efficiency right now. So that is why these ASICs are taking the cake and they're, uh, they're doing really, really well for now. So that's what we're working with in here, guys. Let's jump back on over to the computer and talk some more numbers. Now, the other aspect of my crypto mining farm that I'm not running at home are my Casper ASICs. I have these hosted with Ice River at eight cents USD. So this is just a rate that I cannot compete with. But I wanted to include these because I do use the benefits of my solar at home to offset the electricity costs of these miners. So what do we have running? Well, first up, we've got the KS5M. We've got two of these. This is a 15 terahash unit at 3,400 watts. These have been online for about six months or so right now, going really, really strong. Unfortunately for one of these, I paid a little bit more than that, but you know, them's the brakes, timing is everything. They're always more expensive when you first get them, but for this price, they're pretty good. So I thought let's grab another. I also have this KS5L. It's only 12 terahash for the same amount of watts. So not quite as efficient as the KS5M, but still just profitable, even with the market being down right now. So this is helping me boost my Casper bags and also boost my Bitcoin bags as this KS5L is mining uh, K heavy hash algorithm on nice hash. So that's paying me in Bitcoin. So that will round out the units that we're using. We've got the stuff at home. We've got the hosted ASICs and it's all intertwined. So let's jump on over and crunch these numbers. I've got a spreadsheet you guys can look at and we'll go through all of the numbers so you can figure out if this is worth your while. Okay, it is crunch time. Let's look at these numbers now. For a few of my subscribers, you will have seen this spreadsheet before, but for those who haven't, let me break it down again and we'll go through everything. So starting from the left, our income on those Warthog rigs that I showed you previously, only 82 Wart this last month. I haven't been running them very much, but I did run them a little bit. So that came to a total of 82 Wart at the current price of around a dollar. These are all in AUD, 82 bucks and 40 cents minus $53 worth of electricity. So not a lot happening there, as you can tell. Moving down, we've got those Casper ASICs. Now I have two of these mining Casper directly and one of these mining K heavy hash algorithm on nice hash getting paid in Bitcoin. Hence why we have not added an electricity cost down here. This is the kilowatt hours for all three of those ASICs combined. So as you can see, Casper not doing great right now. $1,031 worth of Casper and paying $967 worth of electricity. So we're pretty much breaking even on Casper at this point. Things are getting scary and around $200 worth of income on BTC with, like we mentioned, no electricity cost as this is included up top. This gives us a total revenue for the Casper ASICs and the Warthog rigs, $1,314.50 a month, the total expenses of $1,020 a month, leaving only $293 a month profit for all of that. So I'm spending a thousand bucks to make just under 300 bucks now. Not great. I did one of these profitability videos a month or so ago, and I think I was making around eight, nine hundred dollars just off Casper alone. So things are definitely changing. But as we said, the market is down. 
Moving along to the at-home stuff again, we've got the Alephium ASICs, that's the AL2 Lite, and the Albox, 180 Alephium at $1.34, super low price, all-time highs $5.80, so that was about $241 worth of Alephium, $158 worth of expenses, so then again, not that great. Moving down into Doge or script mining, these are the Alphapex DG Home ones. Now I've only had one of them for about eight or nine days and the second one only came online a few days ago. So this is not the true reflection of what I could get per month in this, but right now $132.15. $30 worth of electricity, giving us $185 profit. So, you know, you look at the difference here between the Casper and the home solar stuff. You know, we're spending $1,000 to make $1,300. And over here, we're spending $190, you know, to make $185. So it's basically like a one for one, the way that works right there. So that brings our total monthly profit right now to $485.10. This is Australian dollars, of course, so about, say, 300 and something USD for reference. It's $15, $16 a day, I should say, 110 bucks a week. And at the moment, just under six grand a year. So nothing to write home about, but still decent. We're still profitable, so we'll take that. Across here we have the sensitivity analysis. So this is basically if the price was to go up or go down by a multiplier of you know 0.5 or up 2x, 3x, 4x, the monthly price could be around $2,000, which would be a lot better than where we're sitting at right now. Now I wanted to do something a little bit different this time also and have a look at the profitability at all time highs. So let's scroll down, we can see the Alephium, 180 Alephium we've made would be worth $1,060, paying only $158, much better. A full month with those two DG Home Ones would yield us around 706 Doge at the all-time high of just under a dollar AUD, would be worth about 660 bucks, only paying 157 in electricity at home with my rate, so about a $500 profit there. Moving down again, the Casper at the all-time high of 32 cents Australian dollars now. This we all hope, we all believe will go a lot higher, but even still, it gives us a much better return of just under $1,500 a month. So really getting some distance there between you know the, uh, the yield versus the electricity. So a much better multiplier than it was before. And finally down below, the BTC from that KS5L, only about a 10% difference in the Bitcoin price right now. So an extra 10 bucks a month, putting it at $210. But the final numbers look a lot better. The revenue, $3,419, while the expenses, of course, would stay the same. $1,283 worth of electricity across all of that, giving us a monthly profit of $2,136.12 which would be really, really nice, a solid passive income. But of course, we hope that these numbers, you know, can go much, much higher. You know, once we include that Doge and we say we hit a 4X on some stuff, you know, we could be looking at a solid three grand a month, maybe even more, right? So this is what we're looking at at the moment for the monthly profit. Currently, $4, $485 potentially at all time highs, $2,136.12. That is gonna wrap up the spreadsheet and the analysis guys. Hopefully you learned something from that. Hopefully that information helped you a little bit. If you're thinking about getting into crypto mining, specifically solar crypto mining at home, these are the numbers that should help you make a more informed decision. And I know from previous videos, other people were mentioning in the comments about getting solar. So let me know if you've got one or if you've had one, you're looking at getting into one. I want to know all the information. I'm interested in pricing and profit. So let me know. Let's start a dialogue down in the comment section. Hit that like and subscribe button for me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.